Her family abandoned her, but what the tiger did is hard to believe. Once upon a time, in a small Russian village nestled amidst the snowy plains of Siberia, there lived a young girl named Katya. Katya was known for her beauty, with her golden locks and striking blue eyes that shone like the winter stars in the night sky. She lived with her family in a modest wooden house, and they made a living by tending to their small farm and selling their produce in the nearby town. One day, a wealthy young boy named Ivan visited the village. Ivan was the son of a wealthy merchant from the city, and he was instantly smitten by Katya's beauty. He courted her with lavish gifts and sweet words, and despite her family's reservations, Katya fell in love with Ivan. Against her family's wishes, she married him and moved to the city with him. Life in the city was a stark contrast to the simple village life that Katya was used to. Ivan's family lived in a grand mansion, and Katya was surrounded by luxury and opulence. However, she soon realized that Ivan's affections were fleeting. He was often away on business trips, leaving Katya feeling lonely and neglected. One day, Katya discovered that she was pregnant. She was overjoyed at the thought of becoming a mother, hoping that a child would bring happiness and stability to her troubled marriage. However, when she shared the news with Ivan, he was furious. He accused her of trapping him and ruining his plans for the future. He became distant and cold, ignoring Katya's needs and leaving her to fend for herself. As her pregnancy progressed, Katya's loneliness and desperation grew. She longed for the love and support of her family, but they had disowned her after her hasty marriage to Ivan. She tried to reach out to Ivan's family, but they turned a blind eye to her plight, valuing their son's reputation and wealth over her well-being. One fateful winter night, Katya went into labor. She was all alone in her mansion, with no one to assist her. She gave birth to a beautiful baby girl, but her heart was heavy with sorrow. She knew that Ivan would never accept the child, and she couldn't bear the thought of her daughter growing up unloved and abandoned like her. Driven by despair, Katya made a decision that would change her life forever. She bundled up her newborn daughter in warm clothes and ventured out into the biting cold of the Siberian forest. Tears froze on her cheeks as she walked deeper into the wilderness, clutching her baby tightly. With each step, Katya's heart ached, but she felt it was the only way to spare her daughter from a life of suffering. She found a secluded spot near a frozen river, and with a heavy heart she placed her baby in a makeshift cradle made of branches and leaves. She whispered a tearful goodbye, hoping that her daughter would find a better fate in the wilderness than she could provide. As Katya turned to leave, she heard a faint sound coming from behind her, she looked back and saw a pair of glowing eyes in the darkness. She was startled, but as her eyes adjusted to the dim light, she saw a majestic Siberian tigress approaching her and the baby. The tigress had lost her cub just days ago and was mourning its loss, but when she saw the abandoned baby, her maternal instincts kicked in. She approached the cradle and sniffed the baby, her eyes filled with compassion. Without hesitation, she picked up the baby in her mouth and cradled her gently, as if she was her own cub. The tigress carried the baby through the dense trees of the Siberian forest with Katya trailing behind, unable to tear her eyes away from the miraculous sight. She couldn't believe that the wild animal was caring for her daughter, protecting her from the harsh elements and potential dangers of the wilderness. After a while, the tigress came to a cozy den, hidden in a secluded part of the forest. She gently placed the baby down in the den, nudging her with her nose as if to reassure her. The baby cooed, seemingly unafraid of her new surroundings, and the tigress curled up beside her, keeping her warm with her thick fur. Katya watched from a distance, overwhelmed with conflicting emotions. She was grateful to the tigress for saving her daughter's life, but at the same time she couldn't help but feel a pang of guilt for abandoning her in the first place. She knew that she'd made a difficult decision out of desperation, but seeing her daughter in the care of a wild animal made her question her actions. Days turned into weeks, and Katya couldn't resist the pull of the maternal instinct any longer. She couldn't bear to be separated from her daughter any longer, and she knew that she had to go back and check on her, no matter the risks. With a determined heart, she made her way back to the den, braving the harsh Siberian winter. As she approached the den, Katya saw the tigress keeping a watchful eye on the baby, who was now a few weeks old. 
The tigress noticed Katya's presence but didn't show any signs of aggression. Instead, she simply observed as Katya cautiously approached her daughter. The baby recognized her mother's face and reached out towards her with tiny arms. Katya's heart swelled with emotion as she picked up her daughter, holding her close to her chest. Tears streamed down her face as she looked at the baby's rosy cheeks and bright eyes, grateful that she was safe and healthy. Katya spent hours sitting by the den, bonding with her daughter and the tigress. She realized that the tigress had become a surrogate mother to her baby, providing her with the care and protection that she herself was unable to provide. She felt a deep sense of gratitude toward the majestic animal, who had shown her kindness and compassion in her darkest hour. As the winter passed and the weather began to warm, Katya knew that it was time to leave the forest and return to the village. She couldn't stay in the wilderness forever, and she wanted to give her daughter a chance at a better life. With a heavy heart, she bid farewell to the tigress, thanking her silently for saving her daughter's life. Katya returned to the village with her baby, and her arrival caused quite a stir among the villagers. They were amazed by her story of survival in the wilderness and the bond between her daughter and the tigress. Katya was hailed as a brave and selfless mother, and her daughter was welcomed with open arms. Life in the village was not easy for Katya and her daughter. Katya's family was still hesitant to accept her back, and she had to work hard to rebuild their trust. She took up odd jobs to support herself and her daughter, but she was determined to give her child the best life possible. As her daughter grew older, Katya noticed that she had inherited her mother's striking blue eyes and golden locks. She named her daughter Myla, which meant gracious in Russian, and she was her pride and joy. Myla grew up with tales of her miraculous survival in the Siberian forest, and she was fascinated by the story of the tigress who had saved her. She often asked Katya about the tigress and expressed a deep longing to see her. Katya couldn't forget the debt of gratitude she owed to the tigress, and she decided to return to the forest with Myla when she was old enough. She wanted her daughter to meet the creature who had saved her life and show her firsthand the beauty of nature. When Myla turned five, Katya took her back to the Siberian forest. They trekked through the familiar paths guided by Katya's memory of the den where the tigress had cared for Myla. As they reached the den, Katya's heart raced with anticipation. To their amazement, the tigress was waiting for them. She recognized Myla instantly and approached her with caution. But Myla was not scared. She walked towards the tigress with a confident smile, extending her hand as if in greeting. The tigress sniffed Myla's hand, and to everyone's surprise, she nuzzled against Myla affectionately. It was as if she remembered the bond she had formed with the baby in the forest years ago. Tears welled up in Katya's eyes as she watched the scene unfold. For days, Katya, Myla, and the tigress spent time together in the forest. Myla was ecstatic to be in the presence of the magnificent animal, and the tigress seemed to enjoy Myla's company as well. They played, explored the wilderness, and formed a unique bond that transcended the boundaries of species. One day, as they were sitting by the den, Katya noticed that the tigress seemed restless. She paced back and forth, occasionally emitting low growls. Katya realized that something was wrong. She looked around and spotted movement in the distance. A group of hunters had entered the forest, armed with rifles and accompanied by hunting dogs. They were tracking the tigress, intent on capturing her or worse. Katya's heart pounded with fear, knowing that the tigress was in danger. With quick thinking, Katya shouted at the hunters, drawing their attention towards herself. She pleaded with them to spare the tigress, explaining that she had a bond with the animal and that she was responsible for bringing her here. But the hunters were unmoved by her words. They saw the tigress as a threat and aimed their rifles at her. In a split second, the tigress sprang into action. She charged towards the hunters with a fierce roar, causing them to scatter in fear. She fought bravely, using all her strength to protect herself and her newfound family. Katya grabbed Myla's hand and ran toward the chaos, desperately trying to reach the tigress. She knew that the hunters posed a serious threat, and she couldn't bear the thought of losing the tigress and the bond they had formed. As they reached the fray, Katya spotted a hunter taking aim at the tigress. Without hesitation, she threw herself in front of the tigress, taking the bullet meant for her. The pain was excruciating, but Katya refused to give up. 
she continued to shield the tigress with her body, willing herself to stay conscious. The tigress, enraged by the attack on Katya, fought even harder. Her powerful claws and teeth tore through the hunters, driving them away from the den. In a matter of minutes, the hunters retreated, realizing they were no match for the fierce tigress. As the forest fell silent, the tigress approached Katya, nudging her gently with her nose. Katya smiled weakly, knowing that she had done all she could to protect the tigress and her daughter. With the last of her breath, she reached out to Myla and pulled her close. The tigress watched, her golden eyes filled with a mix of curiosity and sadness. She understood that Katya was gravely injured and needed help. Without hesitation, she gently picked up Myla by the scruff of her neck and carried her to safety. With the hunters gone, the tigress tended to Katya's wounds as best as she could. She licked her wounds and stayed by her side, keeping her warm throughout the night. Myla watched in awe, knowing that the tigress was doing everything she could to help her mother. Days passed, and Katya's condition gradually improved. She was weak, but determined to recover. She thanked the tigress for saving her and Myla, expressing her deepest gratitude. The tigress simply purred, acknowledging the bond that had formed between them. As Katya regained her strength, she realized that it was time for them to leave the forest and return to their village. She knew that Myla needed proper care and a stable home. With a heavy heart, she bid farewell to the tigress, promising to never forget her and the precious gifts she had given them. Back in the village, Katya was met with mixed reactions. Her family was overjoyed to see her and Myla, but they were also disappointed that Katya had returned without her husband. However, Katya was determined to move forward and provide a better life for herself and her daughter. She found work at a local farm and used her skills as a healer to earn a living. Myla grew up strong and healthy with a deep love for nature and animals instilled in her from her time in the forest. She often asked Katya about the tigress and wondered if they would ever meet her again. Years passed and Myla grew into a young woman. One day, while Katya was busy tending to her patients, Myla ventured into the woods alone. She felt a pull, as if something was calling out to her. She followed her instincts and walked deeper into the forest until she reached a familiar clearing. To her amazement, the tigress was waiting for her. She had aged gracefully, but her eyes still held the same wisdom and grace. Myla approached her slowly, extending her hand just as she had done as a child. The tigress sniffed her hand, and then she did something unexpected. She nudged Myla gently with her nose, and then turned and walked deeper into the forest. Myla knew that the tigress wanted her to follow, and she didn't hesitate. They walked for hours until they reached a hidden den deep in the heart of the forest. To Myla's surprise, there were two cubs waiting for them. The tigress had become a mother again. Tears filled Myla's eyes as she watched the cubs play, knowing that the tigress had found happiness after their last encounter. She thanked the tigress for saving her and her mother all those years ago and for reminding her of the precious gift of life. As Myla turned to leave, the tigress approached her one last time, nuzzling against her affectionately. It was as if the tigress was saying goodbye, knowing that their paths may not cross again. Myla returned to the village with a heart full of gratitude and a renewed appreciation for the beauty of nature. She continued to help her mother in the healing profession, and she also became an advocate for wildlife conservation, spreading awareness about the importance of protecting endangered species like the Siberian tigers.